Betty O'Gill Ruanga is a girl child education advocate inspiring young women. She's also a senior human resource officer for Total Uganda. Her life story after several setbacks but still came off victorious. From losing her father at three years to being abandoned by her guardian and escaping female circumcision. Today she's a motivational speaker who uses her story to champion girl child education. Ruvanga was one of the speakers at the International Day of the Girl Child at the UN in New York last month. She also toured five states and visited nine schools where she spoke about her life and the liberating role of education. She also promoted her book, whose proceeds go towards establishing the Betty O'Gill Foundation to support education for girls from needy backgrounds. 39-year-old O'Gill is one of seven children. After her father's death, she was entrusted to the care of her uncle Nicholas in Yamed in Karamoja. Her uncle's wife tortured her. I hear people talking about sunbathing in the beach. Mine was very far from all that. Mine was real sun uh, scrub at home by my uncle's wife. And so she used to beat me any lightest thing um, she I, I I went to through a lot of torture even my uncle knew. He also enrolled her at Arangesip Secondary School in Nabila Tuk, Karamoja, but later abandoned her at the age of thirteen. My uncle uh, abandoned me in Amudad um, after taking me to the remotest school in a, uh, Karamoja at that time. I went, I went back home to find my uncle and his family, his children, his wife, and it relocated back Okay, so. Running secured her bursaries that enabled her to continue with her education. But one thing that kept me as at school was uh, that uh, I was a talented athlete. Um, God gives us talents, not not to sit um, to sit on them but to use them to our uh, advantage. But the life hurdles were not far from over. At Macquarie University, she nearly failed to complete her studies until Professor Opio Epelu, former Deputy Vice-Chancellor, intervened. He told me, go, I will pay your tuition fees from now until you complete I don't have a lot of money, but I'm going to pay uh, support your education. And that was one of my happiest uh, moments in my university life. In 2006, Ojil was involved in a motor accident that broke several limbs and impaired her movements and speech. Finally, the light of day shone on her and her hard work paid off. She works as human resource advisor at Ernest and Young and later joined Total Uganda. She has also written a book about her life story entitled Against All Odds, Memos of Resilience, Determination and Luck Amid this Hardship for an African Girl Child in her passionate pursuit for education, explaining the trials that she went through to gain an education. To crown her life success, she received the Human Resource Excellence Award Employee Engagement Category from the Human Resource Managers Association of Uganda. Hers is a story of never giving up has changed many lives. Report by Stephen Senkava for New Vision TV.